Hey guys, this is Morgan May and I am in Lisa Thompson's office. I stole it because she's on vacation and I get the privilege of bringing you just a quick message of hope today as you go about your weekends, okay? Uh, I have a verse for you. It's 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 through 18. And it says this, it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. If you're like me, you might have maybe a tough thought life, right? Sometimes the door is opened and some intrusive fear-based thoughts get into your head and they become a cycle. They like ping pong or pinball around your brain and it gets a little bit crazy, right? When loss hits your family or maybe you're struggling in your relationship, maybe there are downsizing or layoffs happening in your job, right? The door is open for fear. Fear comes in and it starts to cause some chaos. Well, I have a thought for you. What if there's a weapon for fear? What if there's a weapon against fear? What if that weapon against fear is something called gratitude, right? Like the verse says, right? Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in every circumstance. What if God designed your worship to be a weapon against the enemy? What if God designed for prayer to be a weapon against discouragement? What if God designed for your rejoicing to be a weapon against hopelessness? What if God designed your gratitude to be a weapon against worry? I think when you give thanks, when you rehearse the things that God has done in your life, I think it breaks that thought cycle of worry and fear and anxiety. I think it really can do that. So what would it, what would it be like if you stopped right now, right before the weekend, and you broke that thought cycle of worry by first looking to God and saying, God, look at all that you've done and start listing those things out and then see if the worry still stays. And if the worry doesn't leave, then keep rehearsing and keep fighting for that. Keep fighting to keep your eyes fixed and focused on the God who is for you, the God who has never left you. I believe you're going to have a great weekend. I can't wait to see you guys at church. Have a great rest of your day.